All right, Tech Syndicate camera fans. Here's a little tour of PDX LAN, but what's special about this tour is that you're looking at it through the eyes of the Sony a7S. And, you know, normally you would never see this type of detail or luminosity in any type of other camera beyond the a7S. Right now I'm shooting at 12,800 ISO, and I'm at f5. So I have some depth of field here. It's not a lot, because this is a full frame camera, but you are seeing detail that you would normally never see with any other type of camera. So uh, just to give you a general idea, right now all the lights are out. This room is dark. There are a couple lights, which are these little strips up here at the top. But for the most part, all the fluorescents in the hall are dead. And so you can't really see anything. And if I were to adjust the camera to what my eye sees, it would probably be something like, let's see. That's about what my eye sees to the naked eye. So this is um, F5, 50th of a second, um, 640 ISO. And that's about what it looks like in here. So your human eye can see something about like this. And uh, you know, it's enough. You can see, when you look at monitors, you can see what's on them. But you know, for the general part, when you're moving around, you can't really see that much. But this camera, it's low light sensitivity is so intense that you can see, so this is 640. I'm gonna start slowly cranking it up. Here's 1600. This is what maybe a, a 5D Mark II or a GH4 would see. Here's a 3200, what a 5D Mark III would see. Here's 6400, what a, a C300, C100, or perhaps a 1DX or 1D would see. And then I'm just gonna go crazy here. Let's do 12,800. Let's do 25,600. Fuck it. Let's keep going. 64,000 ISO. And as you can see, uh, up against that back wall over there, I'm actually blowing out the highlights. It's so bright from that like 30 watt incandescent bulb that's back there, it's blowing out the highlights. So that's how intense this camera is. It's it's so, so, so sensitive. Over here, this is the help desk. It's really, really dark over there. You really, um, you really can't see over there. It's basically pitch black, but right now I'm blowing out the highlights. My histogram is telling me that basically right over there, all that's just pure white. Um, and the reality of the situation is that white, that wall is lit by a 30 watt bulb. It is incredible and it can even go higher. So here's 102,400, here's 204,800, and then I'm gonna crank it all the way. This is 409,600. I would tell you this is super grainy, but you can't see it because it's all blown out. And uh, going back to a proper exposure, I mean, Here's what looks good. This looks great. This is 12,800 at f5.0, and I can stop. I can open up the aperture. Here's 2.8. It's flashing a little because of the Metabone speed booster, but uh, here's 2.8 at 12,800. I mean, it looks like the lights are on, and they are not. They are totally, totally off, and uh, it's really quite impressive. So I'll show you some details so you can see uh, some skin tones. Now everything here is dark. All the lights are weird, but I'm gonna show you some skin tones. So here's uh, Jay from Jay's Two Cents. And uh, you know, he's <laughs> he's looking at us right now. He's illuminated only by his monitor. We're at 2.8. I'm gonna stop down. We're gonna go to F5.6 and 12.8. And like, I mean, you can see his, his skin tone is great. The detail is great, it's super sharp. And there's almost no noise. So even in the shadows, if I were to go down uh, to the shadows, there's not a lot of noise in those shadows. It just looks really, really good. And that's what's really special about this camera is that it is just so, so sensitive and it really changes the way that you think about shooting because normally you're worried about your ISO in here. You just set your aperture and then you just crank the ISO to where you need it to get the right ISO and you go from there. It's it's stupid, stupid impressive. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with everybody. I'm in love with this camera uh, for shooting in the city or shooting in a LAN party like where we are right now. There is nothing like it. It really is. It's just stupid impressive and God, I've seen all the video reviews on this thing. I've seen everybody talk about it. Philip Bloom, Digital Rev, all the websites. I've seen everyone talk about it. But until you have it in your hands and you crank the ISO and you see how bright it can get, See there, you see a lot of noise. This is this is crazy noise at 409,600. But this is something that at night, 
I mean, I'm at 5'6", I can go down to 2'8". Um, you know, if you're like in law enforcement, this is like, I mean, you can be in the darkest, darkest alley that you've ever been in, and you'll be able to see in there. And at 25'6", which is where I'm at here, it's, it's pretty freaking clean. It's not perfect, but it's clean. You can denoise this image. And, uh, yeah. So, A7S, totally bonerific. Nerdgasm, yeah, love it. It's dope. Yeah. Alright, well that's it. Alright guys, later.